Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two if it's just about my content of the video that I'm talking about, or just you doing a daily routine of being a hayoka, or in the go, or whatever special gift that God has planned for you. And if you feel like you enjoy what you heard, please like like, thumbs up, and share. It'll break me deep. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for coming by my channel and seeing what I'm about. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the love and support and taking your time out just to come see my video today. My um, meditation music, I'm trying to remember what it is because it's like my mind is running so rapid right now. Um, it's like wiping out all energy. It's like a healing meditation, but it's very peaceful. I was I was praying to it right before um, I started making this video, so it put me in a very peaceful place. But my video, I will put that link uh, for that meditation if you want to go ahead and check it out if you're one of those type of people that loves to meditate. I'll put it in the description box below. But my video today is about twins playing 101. Soar like the eagle. Yes, yeah, soar like the eagle. This morning, um, it was like one of those peaceful days where I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead. The pollen's not bad today. I know I started coughing, so ever since I went on my nature walk, um, it was very peaceful and it was very reflective and it's like because I really don't like going outside and especially if it's not really being a really a, well I'm an introvert true introvert because I really don't like going nowhere unless I truly have to unless it's like to work back home or some business I got to take care of other than that I do not go anywhere but um I went on this nature walk and um I was just just being so grateful for you know just seeing the birds seeing the beautiful flowers seeing the beautiful animals and that's a, a good thing when you're when you can go somewhere and just go out it's like when you're going nature walking or you like to camp or you like to hike or you're just an outdoors person you know it's a blessing when you can wake up in the morning and save at least about five or ten things that you are grateful for. Because it's just like so many times with us dealing with our past issues that we have on a daily basis, whether it has to do with job, family members, friends, co-workers, or, you know, it could be a financial issue. It could be a situation where you could be homeless or whatever. Whatever is just holding you back. You know, I was just watching all these different videos it was talking about how you want to manifest your uh, your miracle in your life and it's just like when we you know how when those past vomits come up and I call them past vomits it's like things that you have been through that has really traumatized you to the point where you look at people different or it's certain things that you can't do anymore because they really have really mentally messed you up it's like when anytime something negative pops in your mind you have to really 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 like picture it right there like you're standing in that moment right there and you feel it see it full of life and what you do is you kill that power you kill that kill the color and it's just like when you take that color away it's like you're taking the life away and it was like so many things I was processing in my head it was just like things that I'm still dealing with that I've dealt with as a child growing up you know stuff that I'm recently going through and I had to really process that. And it's just like when you're going on your journey, you will have things that will come up that you you like thought you were done with, and you'll have people that will pop up from your past. And it was one one um, person that I had dealt with that we stopped talking. It was over something that was petty, but that was her decision, so I just let it be, you know. So um, it was just like okay you know situations happen you know people get in their feelings and they get upset because maybe they felt some type of way and it's, you know and it's fine but it was just like I had seen this person and I was just like oh okay or whatever and they asked 
you know, if I need to write, I said, oh, no, I'm just enjoying my nature walk, you know, just appreciating everything that I'm seeing and just soaking up the sun and stuff like that because we actually had a really, the weather was good because usually it's like around this time, you know, for the last few days, it's been really uh, like the pollen, like you can go outside and you just see all this pollen just coming out and I'm just like, I can't be out here. My eyes start itching and those and my throat starts hurting. So, um, you know, it was just when I seen this person, I was just like, I could have really went into depth, like, okay, this is the reason why we didn't talk, this is that. But I just let it go. I just, you know, allowed them to talk. And it's just like, you know, I said, well, I haven't really been, you know, talking to people on the phone and stuff like that. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal against you. And it really honestly wasn't. But when you're going through stuff and you're, you're on your path, you have this peripheral vision where you can't allow people, too many people to be, you know, in your life like that. And it's not like you don't want them to be there. But when you're trying to figure out things on your own and you're really going through stuff, you're really hurting and you're really trying to heal. You're not trying to cope. You're trying to, you know, process it, look at it a higher perspective. It's just like when I saw that, that image of that eagle. And it was like I was walking around and I was coming back home and I saw this this big shadow that came down. I'm like, good God, what was that? And it looked like a pterodactyl, pterodactyl just came flying by because I didn't see it, but I saw the shadow just go over the trees. And then when I looked up, I seen this big eagle that was stretched out. So as me, me and my curious self, I went ahead and um, looked it up to see what it said and it's like when you're going through trouble times they'll let you know that they're there and seek that courage you know find that hidden power that you never thought that you ever you were able to have look at the view from the eagle's perspective when they're up in the air it's like how did you see that eagle and it was like it wasn't it didn't scare me i welcomed it you know, I see squirrels are out there and they're talking to me and I understand stuff. And I'm just like, okay, thank you. And I'm just like, why did I just say that? I didn't understand squirrel talk, but obviously my higher self did. So it was just like so grateful that I was able to see these things and be able to tell myself, you know, you have this strength inside of yourself. You know, take that spirit totem. It's like anytime you're going through something, you call on that evil when you're going through day-to-day -day stress when you're trying to figure out things or you're on a top challenge or you're going through a massive life change you call on that evil but you have to become that evil you have to have the king sight like he does have the sharpness in your talons you know have the the, the the power in your wings to be able to soar to know that you're able to soar you know, be able to have that king sense of hunt, you know, to hunt when you know when to be able to sound off and when to be quiet, you know, and I had to learn that, you know, there's just certain times it's not even, it's not even worth speaking of, you know, and it's just like, you have to keep bringing it up, and I had to tell myself that when you keep bringing it up, it lets you know that you're not over the things that, that are going on in your life, and I said, if you, you know, if you really want your true blessing, and I had to keep telling myself that, tell myself that, if you want your true blessings, you have to be able to let go of the things that has happened to you, because they're not, you're not allowing nobody to, to disrespect you, you're not allowing nobody to try to hurt you, even though you try to understand why do people do the things that they do, you have to really think it's nothing personal. When people go out their way and constantly try to get under your skin every single waking moment, don't allow them to do that. Because obviously, you know, it's like, why does this person keep doing that? Obviously, there's a personal issue with them. If they have to go out their way to try to keep doing that, you know, and it's just like, I, when I noticed that people do that to me, and I felt that kind of way where it made me get on the defense. You know, it's nothing personal. It's nothing against you. It's something that they have to fix about themselves. And you're bringing that out to let them know this is what you need to fix about yourself. Because, like, if you can say this about another person, obviously there's something I need to fix in myself, too, if I can see that, too. So I'm not trying to hold you up today. You know, I hope that you were able to resonate with something and get something out of my video. But yeah, sort of like an eagle. Find that strength and that power within yourself to be able to soar and be able to reach for the goals that you never thought you were able to. Whatever has hurt you or hindered you, take that power back 
and you soak that energy into stuff that you know you want and you desire. And I'll talk to you later. Raise as much frequency as you possibly can. Send out as much love and light and prosperity as you possibly can. Much love to you. I don't know why I said prosperity, but, you know, obviously it was meant for me to say that. But uh, there goes blurting out somebody's thoughts. But um, I will talk to you later. I will keep you in my prayers. And I hope you definitely... Uh, keep me in yours. Uh, like and subscribe if you have not already. Drop me a line or two. And I hope everybody has a blessed week. And do not let anything get in your way. Remember, there's always tomorrow to make a better person for yourself. I will we'll see you next time. Be safe and stay blessed. Namaste. Love you. Peace. And be wild.